Hi folks, it's time for a new video. This is the second part of my boxing series focusing on timing and distance this time around. Timing and distance are both very valuable assets when it comes to the fight game because if you're able to read and recognize your opponent's style and patterns, you will be able to take control of the fight and win. I'll show you a mixed reality boxing clip uh, where I perform the fight myself once again and I'll show you what I see. I will break down the small things and explain to you why I do what I do. I hope you learn something new from the video and enjoy it. Okay, here we go. Round one. Start probing with my jab. Because the easiest way to read your opponent's actions is to prompt an action from the opponent. Okay, landing some body shots and engaging him up close. We're exchanging punches. Okay, I return to the jabbing. I seem to have found my distance. So there's a pocket where I'm stronger. And... It's important to note that the opponent here is mostly firing just single punches when he's firing compared to me pushing out combinations most of the time. Okay, there I lowered my guard for a moment and he came at me. I'm landing more. Okay, and he goes down for the first time. Let's look at some of that in slow-mo. Okay, here. We're back to the jabbing, so this seems to be a pocket here, like, as far as the distance goes, where I'm stronger. He isn't landing anything, I'm not doing significant damage, but I have control while I remain at this distance, pretty much. It's mostly single punches that are coming, so... Uh, I don't have that much hard time seeing them. Now I, I drop my guard and he instantly comes after me. So that's something that I really need to note. And here, as we see, it's just single punches and I'm pushing out one, twos and combos. I took a couple of hits there, but uh, yes, I knock him down eventually at the start. But here's the money shot, the real important part. Look at this dodge. This lateral dodge. I'm gonna capitalize on that, because he dodges towards my power side as I'm right-handed. Okay, we continue. I now got the information that I was looking for, something to exploit, so I'm gonna start turning up the heat. I'm going to go and look for damage, as I already scored one knockdown. Nice combo. I'm just taking it patiently. But I do possess more threat towards the opponent as he does towards me. Okay, I catch him again, he goes down. I tried to time the, uh, the dodge here. I tried to uh, time hitting him into the lateral dodge, but uh, he didn't do it. But I score anyway. He goes down. Once again, we continue. I drop my guard again. Again, he comes at me, but I'm ready this time. We're gonna see that soon in slow-mo, and I'm gonna explain to you what takes place there. Okay, we exchange punches. I drop my guard, trying to lure him in. I'm just baiting on him. And he comes at me, and I spear him on the way there. And I instantly start firing back. He fires the lateral dodge, so I just push through. Four punches to the head, a body shot, short combo. And again, I drop my guard, but now I catch him into the lateral dodge. A direct hit into the dodge, and I continue the combination, and he goes down again. Now he's in desperation mode, seems like. He's just coming at me wild. Well, I'm in control. Boom, down you go. Let's look at that again. Desperation mode. He's just charging at me. I keep high guard 
Just monitor the situation. I'm trying to find his rhythm. There. I push out a counter, push him back, re-establish the uh, distance, jab, jab into the body, and now the dodge. I completely catch him while he's doing the lateral dodge that I spotted earlier on. Let's look at that again. Boom. KTFO'd. Like your bank account after you give your wife access there.